Yes, sir. After I woke up, I began channeling, and my spirit left me, as it were. But that little girl was there at the inner temple, too. Are you talking about your cousin? You can say yeah. Pearl Fay, like you... <laughs> We you know. always call her pearls. Yeah. Pearly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. After do the, do the incident. Oh, you just went right and said it, Maya. Pearly was also stuck on the inner temple side that night. The next morning, she looked around but couldn't find anyone. The next day, when the bridge was finally fixed, she was in the spare prep room. That's when Mr. Godot arrived at the Inner Temple for the first time. He found Pearly first and cheered her right up. Who is this Pearly? It's me, darling daughter Pearl. And then Mia in the body of Pearl is like, That's me, Your Honor? <laughs> <laughs> That's my little cousin, Pearl Fay. Hmm. So when did you hear about this? Oh, just a while ago, when I was in the medical office. I'm terribly sorry. But what you heard from someone else is simply not admissible as testimony. Ah, that is what? That's, that's yeah. true. Come on! Pearly would never tell a lie. She's a way more honest person than I'll ever be. I mean, you are currently smart, trying to Maya. lie to us right now, so I guess that's true. <laughs> you always know the best things to say when you're under oath. Huh. The prosecution has no objection. We believe the witness. But Mr. Godot! Let's just move on to the cross-examination. If the defense has no objections... This is highly unusual, but it... Well, Mr. Wright? Let's get this cross-examination started. Let's get it started in... Huh. Ha. Let's get <laughs> oh, this started in... Huh. <laughs> that was good. I like that. Uh. <laughs> Okay, Pearls is there. Next morning she looked around but couldn't find anyone. The next day when the bridge was finally fixed, she was in the spare prep room. That's when Godot arrived in the Inner Temple for the first time. He found Pearls first and cheered her right up. Okay. I don't think Godot could cheer anyone right up. <laughs> that's a clear contradiction. Oh, that's true, right? Pearl was, yeah, well, yeah yes. Pearl was stuck there. Yeah. She was trying to she went over Dahlia. there. She was over there pouring the gravy on the poster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next morning, she looked around but couldn't find anyone, which is also true as far as we know. The next day, when the bridge was finally fixed, she was in the spare prep room, uh, which we hadn't heard about. Well, is that not true because she was throwing the gravy on it? Yeah, but I, mean, I don't know I mean, if that's it, true the this, whole time. This also isn't like a huge statement. Like, oh, she woke up in the in, in this yeah. Room. Uh, and then Godot. Uh, let's let's press the last two statements about Godot showing yeah. up because that seems. So it was your first time on the Inner Temple side, Mister Godot. Or, so it was your first time on the Inner Temple side, Mister Godot. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad he acknowledges this. Yeah. Hmm. That's funny. Am I imagining things, or did the defense ask me a question? Mr. Wright, please save your questions for the witness. Wow, actual law thing there. Quote, <clears throat> What you hear from someone else is simply not admissible as testimony. Those are your words, Your Honor. <laughs> Tooch, Mr. Wright. Uh, your Honor, it's, it's pronounced touche. Ah, uh, gesundheit. Oh, well, what do you have to say, Mr. Godot? <laughs> Hot nights and even hotter coffee. That's what I always say. You've also never said that. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if it hadn't have been for this case, I never would have visited there. 
freezing cold temple in the mountains? <laughs> I think I'll pass. I prefer the blazing heat of hell. <laughs> so he had so he had never visited Hazakura Temple or the Inner Temple, huh? Huh. <laughs> you wanna say something, trite? In any case, I have to find a crack in Godot's armor. While I cross examine while I cross examine Maya, that is. Very well. Please go on with your testimony. After fixing the bridge, the policeman came over to the inner temple side, right? Yes. That's when Mr. Goodell... I mean, for shits and giggles. Yeah. For shids and farts. <clears throat> he cheered her up. That's what Pearly said. She said he was a very nice older gentleman. Well, that's just a clear yeah, can't be true. right there. Thank you for looking after my cousin, Mr. Goodell. And here I was, thinking you were nothing more than a coffee addict. Nope, that is what I am. <laughs> Cut it out. You're making me blush. But I wouldn't <sighs> be able to see it, so... <laughs> This guy is really beginning to get on my nerves in more ways than one. Now? The truth is, there aren't that many places to look on the Inner Temple side. The policemen were all busy going over the garden with fine-toothed cones. So I decided to carry out an investigation in my own way. Godot style. <laughs> you, I, really, I think you wanted that to sound cooler than it really <laughs> did. But, Let's you know, break it down. Godot style. Godot style. <laughs> I'm the same way. I like to hand down verdicts in my own way. Judge style. Hmm. Maybe I should ask some questions. Phoenix style. <laughs> Fireball jutsu. <laughs> uh, I mean, Godot's investigation would probably be the... Yeah, yeah. There's, there's definitely some important thing in this. I don't know. I do want to hear about cheering up pearls, though. <laughs> Actually, fuck it. Genuinely curious. So, you cheered Pearls up? When I found that little girl, the first thing she asked about was her cousin, Maya Faye. Really? The bridge had burned down and she was huddled up in that tiny shack with no heat. Even though she must have had a truly terrifying night out there. She asked about you before she said a thing about herself. Pearly? I noticed that you weren't anywhere on the inner temple side. But I couldn't find it in me to tell her that. So I gave her my last cup. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> he did give her a cup of coffee. <laughs> with milk and sugar to hide the bitterness of the harsh truth. What a sweet story. <laughs> he had a thermos of coffee? Why doesn't that surprise me? There's only one thing of any importance here. Where was Godot when the murder was taking place? He must have already been at the Inner Temple when it happened. Otherwise, he couldn't have killed Elise Onim. Alright, yeah, so we want to load that. Load it up. We might just, just pre-press the statement in case we do need to know both those things. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Like uh, yeah, it. sure. Press. Uh, cheered Pearl. Yeah. Cheered her right up. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Boop, boop. So much head shaking. Everyone's yeah, like, the it, it does kill me that the animations still have to play, regardless of the text comes through or not. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I guess cheering pearls up. That's what we just did. Oh, That's I thought we did good. I was investigating. No, no, no. Yeah, now I wanted to. Do. You said that you conducted an investigation of your own. Did you find anything? It looks like my investigation went about as well as yours, Trite. After all, I did miss the bloody r the bloody writing on the lantern. <laughs> well, I didn't miss it, so speak for yourself, Goggles. I guess that doesn't Fair. feel great. 
The only odd thing I discovered was the beauty in the training hall. Beauty? Misty Fay, naturally. When I killed Clad in her... Fuck. Clad in her stunning Japanifornese garb, <laughs> surrounded by the hue and aroma of Western tastes. Western tastes? Oh. Could he find a stranger way to describe gravy? Oh my god. <laughs> so from see. there, you headed for the prep room. Wait a sec. What did Godot just say now? Say just now? I think I just found his proverbial weak spot. There's only one thing of any importance here. Okay, and this is the repeat. Uh. So it's the gravy, yeah? Yeah, but. But. That didn't add a thing. Uh, you might just have to present what, like the the poster on the cheered curly up or something. Uh, it just doesn't. I mean, that doesn't feel like it contradicts though. Well, I'm, um, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think what what the what the logic is. Yeah. They're saying they're saying it's something about that. Oh. Also, he shouldn't uh, have been able to see it, too, which he, he shouldn't have been oh, able to see Misty, which... Yeah, that's the thing. He said he saw Misty, but also smelled, smelled the gravy. gravy. Uh -huh. So he wouldn't have been able to know it was Misty if mm -hmm. the gravy was already on it, which means that he was there right. before the gravy was spilled uh -huh. on it. Okay. Oh, well, okay, so wait. That's when Mr. Godot arrived for the first time. Yeah, there you go. Present the thing of... Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Damn. Uh, you hey, have baby, to use you have to that. use a part that doesn't get added to the the testimony. That's cool. Mr. Godot, the first time you cross the first time you crossed Dusky Bridge and went to the Inner Temple, was long before the murder took place. Why do you say that? Because. He just made one fatal slip up. The hanging scroll in the training hall. Hanging scroll? But Mr. Godot is right. That scroll shows a picture of my mother. Maya, I know you know who it is, but there's something you don't know. By the time the bridge had been repaired two days after the murder, the hanging scroll in the training hall looked like this. What? Wait, what? He had he actually it's, it's has the actual it scroll. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Great. Watch that wonderfully delicious smell. The morning after the crime, someone covered it with gravy. Gravy? But why gravy, Nick? Why burgers, Maya? Localization <laughs> issues. <laughs> <laughs> what makes the world go round, Maya? That was really good. The localization <laughs> team. <laughs> because gravy was much more recognizable to American audiences. Because gravy was much more <laughs> than a condiment to the culprit. <laughs> Remember, folks, practice safe murder. Use a condiment. <laughs> God damn it. Well, Mr. Godot, if you really hadn't seen the hanging scroll until after the murder, you wouldn't have had any way of knowing that it was Misty Fay. Wait a minute, Nick. Yes? Take another look at the hanging scroll. Look, at the top. There's a crest there. Ah, uh, that. It's the mark of the master, correct? Exactly. So if you know the meaning of the mark, then you could guess that it was a picture of Misty Fay on there. Judge, come on. Come on! Well, I'm, 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 just, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just putting. I'm just picking up what she's putting down. Mr. Give Rice. it to us, Judge. Come on, Judgey baby. True, but Mr. Godot described what was underneath like this: "Quote, clad in her stunning Japanese garb, surrounded by the hue and aroma of Western tastes." Oh. <laughs> yes. It's possible that he knew what the crest meant. However, he couldn't have known that she was wearing Japanese clothing. 
Mr. Godot, on the day of the murder, you were hiding at the inner temple long before the crime took place. Can I ask you just one little thing, Trite? Uh, no, you can't. I'm uh, an attorney. Ah, so. uh, shit. You're right. You're not the one on cross examination. Fucking got right you. Now. How does it feel? <laughs> turned it around on you. I turned it about on you. No. What is it? This whole theory of yours. That's is all it, it is. A Just theory? a theory. <laughs> Thank you. It all rests on a certain assumption that I knew beforehand that a crime was going to be committed. <clears throat> That's right. Otherwise, there was no reason for him to sneak onto the crime scene. I mean, we there there is a note somewhere talking about the crime. Of course, Mr. Godot knew about the plan. Huh? What did you say? I said Mr. Godot knew about the plan. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, my hearing's really starting to go. Is it really possible that another person knew of the plan? Yeah, I mean, I guess this open, is it. Right? Open, open once before, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good point. This crime was actually planned over a year ago. Morgan Fay authored the plan for her daughter's future, and these instructions were hidden somewhere in Fay Manor for a year. However, by the time Little Pearls found the instructions, they had already been unsealed. Unsealed? Yes. The killer had read these instructions long before Pearl ever found them. That's how he knew the crime was to take place at the Inner Temple. And you're saying this crafty killer, this incredibly handsome, it's very smart, amazing prosecutor, is me. Yes, this defense attorney, with an extremely average-sized penis, thinks so. I'll kill you, Trite! <laughs> <laughs> you bet I am. But you just said that the instructions were hidden. That's right. Mr. Godot couldn't have known where the instructions were hidden. If he really wanted to know, he had one great chance to find out. Yes, and when was that? During a visit. A visit? A visit. Morgan Fay told her daughter Pearl about where the instructions were hidden during one of her visits to the detention center. That would be the only time for someone to have learned where they were hidden. E eavesdropping on a visit at the detention center? Yes. It could be arranged if you were someone with easy access in and out of there. Like, for example, a prosecutor such as Mr. Godot! <sighs> Order! 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 Mr. Godot, you're under fire again! This murder could not have been carried out without prior knowledge. And you... You were the only one that could have acquired this information before the murder! Humans are afraid of the dark. And yet... At the same time, we're fascinated and bewitched by it. Maybe that's why humans drink the darkness that is coffee. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> no! That's nonsense! Um, sorry for always asking, but what does that mean? It means there's a reason for everything. According to your theory, the killer in this case eavesdropped on a conversation during a jail visit where he learned of a hidden plan for a crime. 
After discovering the plans, he hid in the inner temple and waited for the crime to occur. Then he ultimately took a person's life. And he did all of that just to protect this witness? That's right. If you're accusing me of this crime, I have to ask you, why would I do this? Dude, you hate Dahlia and Hawthorne, and you're fucking crazy. And you love Mia, and this is her <laughs> sister. Like, there's yeah, enough reasons for this. Yeah, you're trying to protect Mia. You're insane. You're bad at life. In general. Damn. <laughs> this girl is nothing but a stranger to me. Hey, what are you talking about? Hey, you and my sister were really close, and... Maya, shut up. <laughs> I've got no reason to go through that kind of trouble to protect her. I am what you see. I'm certainly not the type to rescue the damsel in distress. That's explicitly not true. That's like your whole thing. <laughs> the killer's Penis behavior not is... helping. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Tell them that! I'm trying to get off here, Phoenix! <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to convict you, what the fuck? <laughs> Phoenix, uh, shut up! <laughs> the killer's behavior is certainly extreme, for lack of a better word. Even considering that the killer wanted to protect this witness's life, his behavior is still a little too unnatural. However, you had a good reason, didn't you? You had a good reason, didn't you, Mr. Godot? An unshakable reason that forced you to protect this witness at all costs. I knew it. You figured it out, haven't you, Nick? Maya, oh, yeah. I guess you were doing your best to cover for Godot. Even though he murdered your mom. Uh, yeah, but like also, you know, he did save her life and his mom was going to kill her through Dahlia Hawthorne. It makes sense. I'll at least give him that. It makes sense. For the same reason, huh? No, like, I, I'm going to get to eventually why this doesn't make sense. But I'm going to wait till or through this whole thing. So I got I to gotta okay. rant, rant to go on. Oh, of course. Now that, now that I know how this whole thing ends up. Mm. Okay, Trite. I'm all ears, but not eyes. Let's hear it. God damn it. It's very simple. Maya Fey is a lot more than just a stranger to you. Watch this. There's one person who lies at the very center of this whole story. One person that ties you and Maya Fey together in inextricably. Mia. Yeah, Mia. Yeah. Godot and himself. <laughs> you do. Right, I do like myself an awful lot. I like myself a lot. <laughs> it's Laurice Donim. I do think pretty highly of myself. Ah, uh, the chat. <laughs> and that person is Luke at me. Yeah. Zvari. God damn it. We are both Luke at me. <laughs> and that person is Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> he thought, man, this guy really needs to solve another case. <laughs> So I should help make a case for him to solve, so we can get so we can get more pay and stop starving. There's a very good reason why Maya Fey's life is so precious to you. After all, she is Mia Fey's only sister. You did tap. You did tap her sister's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Mia Fey. Hey, Godot. Nice. <laughs> thanks, thanks, bro. <laughs> God damn it. You once worked alongside her. That was when you were a defense attorney. And I also worked behind her when I was lucky. <laughs> God damn it. Wow. Nice, Godot. Fucking nice. 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 Fucking nice, man. <laughs> Judge is like, oh, nice. Whoa, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait a second here. 
Mr. Godot is is a defense attorney. I thought it said he's a terrible attorney. I don't know why. <laughs> My brain autocorrected. I mean, yeah, that is true. To, is a terrible attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Godot is a defense attorney. Hey, Judge, this is going to blow your mind. The uh, defense attorney yesterday, he's actually a prosecution, a, pr- a prosecuting attorney. What the fuck <laughs> is going on in my courtroom? <laughs> you know what? Two games from now, I'm going to have this whole place blown up. <laughs> hey. Spoilers. Hey, spoilers. <laughs> With your honor's piercing intellect, you... Sorry, let me take that again. With your honor's <laughs> piercing intellect, you must have figured it out by now. No, I'm, I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> the real name of this man who calls himself Godot, his real name is Diego Armando. No fucking way! Isn't that Are right? you kidding me? Actually, Diego Armando is my twin brother. <sighs> what? Yes, there's multiple twins in this case. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe you figured it out. The last time someone called me by that name was over six years ago. Diego Armando. Uh, now that name rings a bell. It oh, should, yeah. Honor. Me and the other judges used to shit talk that loser all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we all hated when he was in our when he was in our courts. He was always so smug and annoying. Man, we all celebrated when he went into that coma. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Pool time! <laughs> Wait, what happened? Pulled somebody by the name of Pool Time pool just time. tipped exactly the, the donation amount to, to hit the, the goal. Hey, baby! So we're gonna be doing a pool stream. Pool stream we're going pool. back to the pool. Back to the <laughs> get pool. Ready, get ready for our old school one piece bathing suits so that we don't <laughs> show off our nips because we're exactly. going to the pool yo uh genuinely whoever that was thank, thank you, you whoever so that much. was thank you uh and again y'all never let us down with the amazing names for these donations so <laughs> hats off to you again oh wow uh, i'm so i'm so excited <laughs> that we get to do that thank you very heck much yeah, seriously. Heck yeah. it should your yeah. honor all of this is related to a single case A case in which a convict named Terry Falls killed himself. Mia Fey's first time in court. The tragic outcome left a deep wound in her heart. She knew that behind it all was a heartless, scheming, demoness in disguise. And she Did also- Did somebody say a heartless? No, sorry, get the fuck out of here. God. Bro, we told you to get the fuck out of here last week. What are you still doing here? <sighs> oh, sorry. I'll just hop on my gummy ship and go to another world. <laughs> Bye. Oh, fucking God, I hate that guy. Shoot that <laughs> ship down. <laughs> Stress passing over Japan or for airspace. Shoot it I down. Just, <laughs> I just love the idea that everyone's like, Sora, get the fuck out. Yeah, Sora, leave. We don't want you. Sora, what the hell? Get out of here. <laughs> I don't want you around here, Sora. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Jesus. Aw, oh, man. Come on, guys. Uh, Mr. Sora, please leave. You're getting away with this taste. Uh, well, that's a fun thing for me to do. Sora, Sora gives me hemorrhoids. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, when's Sora You're... coming to Fortnite? That's a good question, I mean, Fridge, probably. actually. Because <laughs> let me tell you, you all know it could. You all know it could get announced tomorrow, and no one would be oh, surprised. A hundred percent, not 100%. at all. Percent. <laughs> but in the end, Mia couldn't tear off that disguise. However, there was one man who reached out to help her. Diego Armando, a senior defense lawyer at the office where Mia worked. It's my fault. It's all my fault that Mr. Falls killed himself. Mia, you can't cry yet. 
Ow, oh, fuck. Jesus, I didn't think... God damn it! Oh! Did somebody call the fucking hospital? Holy my shit! Coffee in the cut wounds! Oh my god! It makes what it all is... worse! Who got me this flimsy-ass mug? Oh my god! Jesus! If I wanted a sturdier oh. mug, I should go to etsy.com slash shop slash save data team. Yeah, there you go. And either pick up their Save Data Team Pride mug or even the Anytown Ohio branded mug. <laughs> you better make that edit. Hell yeah. <laughs> the only time a lawyer can cry is when it's all over. Or when they find out that all of the merch on Save Data Team's Etsy shop is gone. Has gone is is out. Is what the fuck is the word I'm looking for? On it's sale? sold out. Jesus oh, Christ. Okay, sold, out. sold out. Jesus Christ, my brain just fucking <laughs> pooped just now. I was moved by her. The way she put her all the way she put all her faith in her clients. That pure sweetheart of hers. That's why I could never forgive Dahlia Hawthorne. Mia and I thoroughly investigated that fake kidnapping incident. Then one fateful day, Dahlia wanted to meet with me. It had been six months since the trial. We met in the courthouse cafeteria. Ah, I just remembered. Six years ago, right here in this courthouse, you were poisoned even I didn't see it coming Dahlia Hawthorne slipped some poison into my coffee some newspapers at the time called it a murder but very little information about the case was released to the press but you weren't dead at all no official reports ever actually called it a murder. I was just in a deep, deep coma. I see. My body shut down, and my life became nothing but a long, deep sleep. That woman's poison did a real number on my central nervous system. I lost my sight, and all my hair turned white due to the damage it caused. Because science... I do, I do wonder. Yeah, I know, right? If there's any that. kind of poison that could result in your hair going white. Yeah. Anime, anime poison. Yeah, apart from anime. Like, I know jack poison. shit about science yeah, and yeah. how things, like, yeah, losing his sight, I'm, I'm fine believing that. But, Shit. like, and losing your hair, I can believe that, too. Uh -huh. But... I can't think of what biological interactions would occur that would cause your hair to go white from a poison. Mm -hmm. Chat, let us know. Yeah, chat. Oh, any poison experts in the chat, let us know. <laughs> That's terrible. Apparently, it was a miracle that I ever regained consciousness. Five years had passed since I drank that poison brew. And, you know, I still drink coffee to this day. <laughs> you, can't, you can't, you can't keep it. You can take the a the coffee out of the attic, but you can't take the addict out of the coffee or something. That's one of my rules. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck you. Who cares? <laughs> then one morning, my eyes flew open. From the smell of a doctor's cup of coffee. God, God damn it. Damn it. Uh, five years? You were asleep for five years. And the worst possible news was waiting for me. Blanco Nino and Marvin Grossberg's relationship didn't work out. <laughs> I was so happy for them. Throw back! <laughs> They're if, so cute if, together. If they can't make it, what hope do any others have? <laughs> oh, God, that's good. Mia Faye was dead. 
Yeah. What year does this game technically take place in? Uh, 2020? 2018? Something like that? I think the first one was 2020. Or 2018. Oh, game one was game 2016, one was 20, 20, 16, so this should be 2018 or 2019. Okay. okay. Damn, that was, sucks for them. To... That COVID's about to hit for the Ace Attorney cast next yeah, year. Yeah, I was trying to, to, I was trying to think of, I was trying to think of so a hot, so he would have been. I, mean, I, I guess if you want to insert a really silly political joke, you could say, "I learned that Donald Trump had become president," <laughs> 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 and I was just like, "What the fuck." <laughs> Maybe that's maybe that's why <sighs> Phoenix gets all uh, gets his beanie and gets his five o'clock shadows because he's been in isolation all all <laughs> that time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, you think you think I wear button up shirts all the time, uh, like I used to before pre COVID? No, I got fucking sweatpants on all the goddamn time. <laughs> <laughs> I work from home. From the very moment I opened my eyes. I had already lost everything I thought I had. The woman I love had been murdered. And the woman I loathed had been sentenced to death. The woman you loathed. The woman who had spiked my scalding hot coffee. Dahlia Hawthorne. Mmm. Thinking of coffee. I need another sip. <laughs> huh. Good old Mia. She didn't let me down. She got her revenge before she checked out. In the end, there wasn't anyone waiting for me when I woke up. <laughs> Marvin Mosberg's like, you know, I, I did employ you, and I actually considered us good friends, so that, that one kind of hurts there, Diego. Fuck, fuck you, I guess. <laughs> like, I know we didn't make out or anything, but I I really did consider us friends, so... But, you know, we could've, if so you had just asked. So Why didn't you, you accept my friend request in Fortnite, Diego? <laughs> we could've squatted up and got some chicken dinners together. <laughs> I would have even uh, given you uh fuck what the hell is the currency in Fortnite called? Uh V-Bucks. I would have even given you V-Bucks using the epic creator code save data team which gives them 5% of your purchase. A checkout. Zach, Zach with all the plugs tonight. Yeah, Hell I yeah. Didn't intend on that one, but we, we got there and I was like, well, oh, okay, I'll just throw that one in. <laughs> That's so sad. That you're making plugs for your own content in one of your videos. God damn it. Multiple times. Wow. <laughs> someone like me. Or someone who had slept away their best days. There were only two reasons left to live. One was going to be coffee. One of them's coffee. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And it was for those two reasons that I decided to become a prosecutor. If I may ask, what were your two reasons to live? The first was you, Trite. Huh? M me? If I hadn't drank that stupid poison... Mia Fey never would have died, much less the way she did. You were the, you were the only one who was there to protect her. I wasn't there, But you though. let... Hey, shut up. But you let her die. I didn't. It was all your fault. It's not. I... It wasn't like that. I wanted to see for myself what kind of a man you really were. So that's why you became a prosecutor. My other reason for living. She goes by the name of Maya Fey. Huh? You mean me? No, different Maya Fey. <laughs> Strange yeah, coincidence. No Surprisingly common. No name. relation. <laughs> you were the only way I could make up for the sin of not saving Mia. One year ago, when the Karain village incident was resolved. Yeah, jump scare, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. 
It was obvious that Morgan Fay was planning something. Whatever her evil plan was, I was determined to stop it. My role as a prosecutor put me in the perfect position to do something about her. That's how you overheard Pearl's visit with Morgan at the detention center. I knew that the time was drawing near. Since I knew the plan, I thought I could foil it. My goal was to outwit the plan. I thought if I could do that, I could keep that girl from being caught up in it. That makes sense. If Pearls had known that the actual purpose of the plan was to kill Maya, she never would have helped out. Finally, the day of the plan was drawing near. I contacted both of my accomplices. Accomplices? Iris of Hazakura Temple and Misty Fay. I especially needed the help of Iris. She was to take the fall and my backup plan in case we couldn't control Pearl Fay. But how did you contact my mother? She had been missing for almost 20 years. Officially, yes. What? What do you mean, officially? Officially. <laughs> You've heard about it, haven't you? About the strong ties between the main family and the government. Now that you oh, mention no. it, oh, Kiri no. did say something to that effect. She said that the Master of Curane had great authority. Listen, hot coffee can't melt steel beams. <laughs> Even without her official position, Misty Fay still wielded great influence. The police have been keeping an eye on her movements all this time. That's how I was able to contact her. Again, because of my position as a prosecutor, so my mother was cooperating with you? Don't ever forget. No matter how far away from you she was, she never stopped thinking about you. She was always... But she did abandon you, so, um... <laughs> still kind of a bad mom. Damn. So that's why she never contacted me? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Damn. That's why I knew she would do anything to protect you. If Except, you, you know, know how stay around you. <laughs> if you want to know how strong her resolve to protect you was, look at her staff. Her staff? The one with the sword in it? The day the plan was to be carried out arrived soon enough. We met for the first time at Hazakura Temple. That's when your mother showed me her special staff. I realized it then, just how far she was willing to go. She was ready to use that sword to protect you from Morgan Fay if necessary. Yes, even if it meant paying the ultimate price. Mother. Mother. Mother! That night, the night of the crime, there was just one way to stop Morgan Fay's evil plan. You mean pearls, don't you? We had to make sure she didn't channel Dahlia Hawthorne. Well, pearls, what are you going to do tonight? Well, um... If you'd like, you can come to my room. Perhaps we can read some books together. We thought we could prevent her from playing her part in Morgan's plan. But she never showed up. 
but we're terribly fucking bad at keeping track of a single eight-year-old. <laughs> of a, of a the, child. The, the core of our plan is keeping track of this eight-year-old, and we immediately failed at that part. And like, Phoenix I want to like... emphasize, step one of the plan, we had already fucked up. And it was an incredibly easy part of the plan. We are trash at this. Phoenix is like, wait, you're also terrible at keeping track of pearls? Me too. I lost her for like three days. Like we had a step <laughs> list of our entire plan and we didn't even make it to bullet point two. We <laughs> already had to throw things off. Really, really mucked this up. <laughs> <laughs> Big oofa doofa. She was worried and followed me to the inner temple. That was the thing we were most afraid of. And that's why Misty Fay had to do the channeling herself. She channeled Dahlia Hawthorne into her, into her own body. What? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean, what do we mean? Like, this, this is the whole thing. We knew that. If she channeled the spirit first, then Pearls wouldn't be able to do it herself. As Master of Kurain, Misty Face powers was Misty Face power was supreme. So that's how it went down. She channeled Dahlia Hawthorne so that Pearl Fay wouldn't be able to. Uh, what? What is this true? My role in the plan was to make sure no one was going to hurt Maya Fay. That's why and I, I hit did myself that terribly okay job, that. I guess. <laughs> like, she had some concussion and did get locked in a thing, but she's alive, so I, I'm calling myself a winner on this one. <laughs> That's why I hid myself at the inner temple. Just in case you needed to be saved from Dahlia Hawthorne. You do. Anyway... That's all I'm going to admit to. Trite. Isn't that everything? Huh? Yeah, what, what else is there? Yeah, he's what like, I'm there, not... Really? There's no doubt about it. You're a great defense attorney. You're a great defense lawyer. But you're going to have to do the rest yourself. The background leading up to the incident has been laid bare. There's just one question remaining, Mr. Wright. Who killed the victim? Joe. No, yeah, we, what, what are you talking about? We have about? motive. We know that he was there. We have descriptions of a guy doing the stabbing. I, I'm, I am blindingly not certain what, what, what's there left to figure out. Yeah, what? <laughs> there are only two possible suspects right now. Minus there. one. There, there is one possible suspect. Yes. Yeah. Maya Faye? Nope. And I'm sad to say, you, Mr. Godot. Dig, 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 we have a winner. <laughs> <laughs> well, Trite, if you're the real deal, then finish this thing once and for all. Show us beyond a shadow of a doubt that you can finish this on your own. No, Nick, please don't. Okay, Maya, it was you. <laughs> okay, Maya, go Wait, to uh, <laughs> shit, never mind. Finish it, please. I take it back. <sighs> Maya. Giant Penguin, trivia <laughs> time. Getting a game over due to penalties will result in Iris being declared guilty, even after this point where the judge acknowledges that the only two people who could do the crime are Maya and Gabelle. That's Oopsie hilarious. Doodle, game designers. That's hilarious, actually. Oopsie <laughs> doodle. Uh, that's hilarious. Uh, Thank you, Zolly Giant Penguin. I, I heard the whole thing from my sister in the medical office. That's why, that's why I have to protect Mr. Godot. I can't do it. I can't testify against him. After all, he's the man who put his life on the line to protect Mia and me too. Maya. I know that, 
but he won't I just stop don't calling care. me Trump. <laughs> and it's really fucking pissing me off, so I'm gonna send him to jail. Nick. But even so, it doesn't absolve him of his crime. Please, Maya, testify. Miss Faye, your testimony, please. Also, again, Pridge, correct me if I'm wrong here, but he did a murder to to save somebody's life. That's explicitly not like. So this one's really confusing. I mean, there's also obviously, the whole possession again, thing. <laughs> I mean, it, no it, way. Obviously, spirit channeling aside, but also you could also argue he helped set in motion the events that put yeah. Maya in danger. That he had to save her from. Yeah, I mean, the obvious thing we didn't, uh, haven't yelled about yet, but probably will at some point, is that he could have just fucking told the authorities or stopped hey, hey, Pearl. We're saving, yeah. hey, 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 I, we're saving that. Yeah, we're saving it. We're saving it. We're saving that. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. I, I'm trying to think of an analogous situation where, like, you use someone as bait to lure out an assassin, and then you, like, and then uh, you kill the assassin to protect them. Like,. Yes, you're protecting someone else, but you put them in danger in the first mm. place. So, like, yeah, I don't and your plan know. was to I, your plan it, was it, to like hurt somebody if it came down to it. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's it's a really weird thing where I don't. It's like again, I don't really think there's any like actual situation where something like this played out. Uh, so yeah. again, it, again, it's this kind of weird thing where like he did. He's the, partly the reason Maya was in danger in the first place, so he doesn't yeah. get to be like. I'm completely innocent because I was protecting her, but like it's kind of your fault you needed to protect her. Yeah. Right. Right. Interesting. <sighs> Miss Fay, your testimony, please. This no. is the final testimony. Don't of bother the game trying to hide. And of the trilogy. Yeah. Don't bother trying to hide anything, because I'll know. I want to hear the truth from your own lips. Understand. I'm sure you're right. I'm ready now, Nick. All right, young lady. Tell us about the moments before you lost consciousness. What exactly happened at the time of the murder? Oh, shit. Okay. Time of the murder. Just before it happened, I think I saw some red lights. Three of them. Well, we don't know who that belonged to. I thought I'd ask for help, but just then I was splattered with blood. She wasn't dead, though, and she struck back at the enemy behind her. Luckily, the red lights went out, and the whole area was dark. Just at that moment, there was a horrible scream. Right after that, Dahlia collapsed, and I lost consciousness. These red lights. I thought you said you don't remember seeing them. Are you saying you lied? In my courtroom? Unheard of. Did you commit P-E-R-J-U-R-Y? Thank you. Thank you. Phoenix, you get a you get a gold star today. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. I, I'm sorry. I thought I saw them, but then they disappeared all of a sudden. <laughs> Things break, Trite. Even the best of theories. About to break your face, Godot. Goddamn. Goddamn. <laughs> that doesn't break. <laughs> only your only your fist would. <laughs> Who was it that stabbed Misty Fay? It looks like you still can't prove it. Maya's telling the truth this time. I know it. The rest is up to me. Well then, Mr. Wright. Proceed with your final cross-examination of the witness. Yeah, also, what's Godot's plan? What if Wright can't do it? The other option is that Maya goes guilty. to jail, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and my, then he'll be my, like, uh, my guess, Okay, fine. No, yeah, I my did guess it. Is, my guess is he would he would probably just admit it. Hmm. Yeah, um, but this but, so this is all pointless. 
this is all this is all just because he has a grudge against. This is all because he's a p- little piss baby and he has a grudge against Phoenix. <laughs> That's what this uh, all yes. is. Damn. <sighs> okay. What okay. happened? Saw some red lights. Thought I'd ask for help, and I was splattered with blood. She wasn't dead though. Well, she struck back at <laughs> the enemy behind her. I feel like f- from pretty much there on, it's worth pressing stuff. I mean, like the red lights going out is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, just press that. I mean, I think I know what they're describing. Mm. They went out. Yes. Suddenly, I couldn't see them at all. What could it mean? If the red lights were coming from Godot's mask, and they went out right in the middle of a fight. Maybe the mask was damaged? Maybe it was knocked off. Could be or maybe both. the batteries ran out. Right, Shrite? <laughs> okay, Godot, that's a good one. Or maybe those little red pinhead looking lights just stopped working. Judge, what the f- Why are we all- why are we all giving conjecture here? <laughs> yeah. What could have really happened then? <laughs> uh, okay, horrible scream. Was it a man scream or a woman scream, Maya? What do you mean by just at that moment? Do you mean the moment when the red lights went out? Yes, that's right. The scream that you heard then, was it Dahlia Hawthorne? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it was a man's voice. But like in a really high pitched thing, like he was really scared. Like, oh, I'm so <laughs> scared. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't like that. Shut up. I would never. It sounded would gruff never. and manly almost certainly. <laughs> yeah, it definitely wasn't a tiny little shrill scream. I would never scream because like that. Damn it, no. got me again. <laughs> I would I would never scream like ah! <laughs> ah damn it got me again Phoenix right what 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 <laughs> so then that scream came from the killer that's got to be it hmm 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 <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I installed this toilet on my judge's stand. <laughs> I think Dahlia Hawthorne must have taken the blade and attacked the killer with it. And then the killer let out a scream of pain, huh? After that, the killer stole the blade back and delivered the final blow, I guess. Well, Mr. Wright? It seems to make sense to me. See, wait. Hmm. What's... No, there's a contradiction, I think. Yeah. Uh Because who has what weapon at what point? Because there's the cane Uh... sword and the dagger. Who has which weapon at any given... Misty oh, yeah, there by was... Dahlia has yeah. the staff and the cane sword, right? Or... Yeah, Although but that didn't possessed... have any blood on it. Although she's possessed so... by Dahlia, who wouldn't know about the cane sword. Right, that's also true. so... So she yeah, that's hits... a contradiction. So yeah. does... So does... Dahlia hit Maya with the staff? Yeah. Then reach out for the... Then reach for the... Dagger? And well, Godot stabs her in the back. And then at this time, back. Godot gets the sword part? Yeah. Yeah. We'll find anyway, out. I, th- I think somewhere in this is the contradiction. I'm trying to follow the weapon. I'm so sorry to say this, but that interpretation would create an enormous contradiction. That makes sense. After all, my deductions are almost certainly never correct. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He Humility. Okay. Humility, Judge. I appreciate it. Remember the, te- remember the testimony she just gave. Before the killer let out a scream, Maya said she had already been spattered with the victim's blood. In other words, the blade and the staff had already been plunged into the victim. 
Ah, is that right? Uh, yeah. She couldn't have been. She couldn't have struck back. She couldn't have struck back with a sword that was already stuck in her body. The weapon that caused the killer to let out a scream must have been something other than the staff. Yeah, that's the sword. Yeah. The oh, the dagger. That's so in the tree. so basically, so basically, Dahlia had the dagger on her. Yeah, yes. because she didn't Dahlia know always about had the, the dagger because she needed a killing weapon and didn't know about the cane sword. And then yeah, yes. Godot took the cane sword instead. Godot took the sword part out, stabbed her. Mm -hmm. Dahlia struck yep. Bat with the dagger. True. So Godot's blood is on the. Yes, yeah, so the, 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 the blood on the dagger is Godot's. And that'll prove everything. There we go. We did it. We won. We won video games. Video. Save day at team one. Video games zero. <laughs> <laughs> if you're so sure about that. Then don't keep us waiting any longer, Trite. There's only one thing I can think of. That could have been used as the weapon. My name is my name is Phoenix Wright, and, and one, one plus, plus one, one equals, equals two. two. If Dahlia Hawthorne had already been stabbed in the back by the staff, what could she have used to strike back at the killer? My attorney's badge. The <laughs> Shishido. <laughs> That's that'd be funny. really funny, ass. Yeah. <laughs> Just wails him with the shishi shito. <laughs> I mean, that would fucking hurt. Are you kidding? Yeah, that fucking suck. Again, I don't know how good of a cutting weapon that is, but it would still suck if someone smacked oh, yeah. you with it. <laughs> Naturally, the dagger the killer brought to the scene of the crime. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. This dagger was found at the crime scene, stuck into a pine tree. A totally legitimate pine tree. <laughs> yes, the detective found that this morning and brought it to me. Dahlia Hawthorne struck back at the killer with this. The Empire strikes back. Dahlia Hawthorne strikes back. And she managed to wound him as well. Just because he let out a totally manly scream doesn't mean that he was wounded. For all we know, the blood on the dagger could have been from the victim. We actually know that it's explicitly not, though. It's one of the only things we know about that blood. Have you forgotten that the blood has already been tested? Since we learned it wasn't the victim's blood, it must be the killer's blood. The killer must have a wound somewhere on his body! So you're saying the blood on this dagger belongs to the killer? Exactly. A DNA analysis of the blood would prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt. And yes, Mr. Godot, it would prove that it's your blood. I don't have any blood. I just have coffee, coffee running through my <laughs> veins. Yeah. Nice theory, Trite. That's actually probably why it took me so long to come out of that coma. The doctors kept injecting, <laughs> giving me coffee transfusions instead of blood transfusions. It you really messed up my body. Order! Order in the court! The I'm basically end? running on pure caffeine now. Have I done it? Even he won't be able to change the results of a scientific test. Huh. Let me ask you something, Trite. Let's just say that it turned out that I was the killer. Let's just say hypothetically. Hypothetically. Do you really think I would be stupid enough to leave evidence like that? I mean, Godot, yes. <laughs> what? Kind of dog. Just think for a second. This dagger was found this morning by a detective and brought to me. There was already a blood stain on it, correct? But even so, I was the one who brought this dagger here to the courtroom. Hey, Godot, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you couldn't see the blood on it. Yes? What does that prove? Well, if I really were the killer, I could have washed the blade off and then planted another person's blood on it. That's... It can't be! In any case, there's one thing I can guarantee, Trite. That blood... It doesn't belong to me. Not a chance. What? 
In any event, it seems to be established that the killer was wounded. All right, then, witness. Uh, continue your testimony. Wait a minute. What's the problem? Um, I... I know I probably shouldn't say this, but... There's a big contradiction in Nick's explanation. My, you do, you don't get to object to me, okay? That's not. <laughs> That's I'm not the contradiction boy. I'm the lawyer. How many times do I have to explain this to you, Maya? You, you're assistant I'm... manager. Remember, we gave you that title. <laughs> Maya. Th th this dagger. You said that it wounded the killer. That's right. But. But but. If Mr. Godot had really been cut with a dagger, his clothes should be bloody or have a rip in them, right? Or maybe it was his face, and that's what knocked the visor off, and that's why the lights went out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, Maya, maybe he just changed his clothes. That'd solve the contradiction pretty easily. What are you talking about? It's not that simple at all. Everyone in this country only has one outfit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Except what are you talking for, about? Except for Larry clothes. somehow. Yeah, Larry's the only one who has bum. multiple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember back to the day of the murder. Everyone that was on the inner temple side got trapped there. Ah, that's right. <laughs> And once the bridge was fixed and the police headed for the inner temple. Mr. Goodell was already there waiting for them. He never had a chance to change his clothes. Ugh. You mean he hasn't showered all day? For two days? I don't think That's anyone here I'm has. <laughs> Honestly, I think this court was just Order in the rank. court. Well, what the witness says is true. Maybe he brought a change of clothes with him. But no one could have predicted the lightning strike that shut down the bridge. Why would anyone have brought a change of clothes? Uh, did the judge take smart pills during the last recess? <laughs> Can I get uh, some of those? I was thinking those smart pills. <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody's been switching his smart pills with Dumbus pills. <laughs> Well, then, maybe the killer took off his clothes before he committed the murder, Phoenix. Gato's like, <laughs> Gato's like, what, you, I'm a fucking you, pervert. Got, you got, got wish, me again. You, wi you wish, Trite. <laughs> that way he wouldn't get any blood on them. That's impossible, Trite. These clothes are grafted onto my body. <laughs> I can't take them off. You know how cold it gets up there late at night. Uh, and listen, Dahlia Hawthorne made a comment, but it was just because it was cold, okay? <laughs> and she doesn't know how to measure length, okay? Listen. See, we finally agree on something, Gado. Uh, We've done it. We found common ground. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. After a few minutes with no clothes on, he'd be frozen solid. Ugh! Hmm. <laughs> so that's all you've got. I need hey, more tough enough to finish this. He has a mask on. <sighs> right now, if Mia Faye were here. Wait, isn't she not still here? I don't know, man. If Mia Fey were here, she would have closed the book on this case already. If Mia Fey were here. So come on, Trite. Can you do it or not? How about it, Mr. Wright? You've accused Mr. Godot of being the killer. And substantiated it with, like, so much A evidence. A lot of evidence. But can you prove it? Have you got even one piece of evidence? I hate you, Judge. <laughs> the question isn't whether whether I can prove it or not. The fact is, I have to prove it. That's the only choice I have. I was taught that it's one of the rules of being a lawyer. 
That's one of Mia's rules. I can prove it. I'm going to bring your magnificent vengeance to fruition, just as you want it. Oh, we get the original turnabout theme. Also, a bunch of $10 words on that one, Phoenix. Goddamn. <laughs> That's good. A fighter to the bitter end, right? Since there's just one piece of evidence that can prove your point, why don't we go for the old unlimited penalty? Unlimited? <laughs> Are you trying to pressure me, Mr. Godot? Because it doesn't matter to me. I've got the one piece of evidence I need. <laughs> Give me a break. You've got nothing, trite. So what do I do at a time like this? It's simple. I've got to think outside the box and approach it from a different angle. Or just consider that maybe it's under his visor. <laughs> Like, that's not even a different angle. It's just considering that it, it might not be a closed thing. <laughs> wow, Pridge. Wow, that was so smart. You came at that from a completely different angle. Damn it. <laughs> All right, then, Mr. Wright. That was terrible at trigonometry. I don't know angles. <laughs> <laughs> his clothes are down here, but his mask is up here. That's two completely different angles on a parallel axis. All right, then, Mr. Wright, let's hear what you've got. There's one thing I've demonstrated in the previous cross-examination. The killer was wounded. That was proven by the blood on the dagger. B but we decided it was impossible for him to have hidden such a wound. If he had been cut by a dagger, there should have been a blood stain on his clothing. There's one place... One place the killer could have hidden his wound. What did you say? Hidden? This is it. My last stand. I need to think about this from a different angle. I don't need to think about why there were no bloodstains on his clothing. I need to show how he hid the wound. It's the end of the, li end of the line. The final stop, Trite. Let's hear what you've got. Where's this location where you say the killer hid his wound? 